السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا بكم أيها السيدات والسادة في كل مكان وطأب مساءكم بكل خير هنا في هذه المواجهة في هذا اللقاء هنا عبر قنوات الكاس في مباراة المجموعة الأولى التي تضم المنتخب الهندي والمنتخب الأفغانستاني هذه المباراة التي هي ضمن مجموعتنا مجموعة العنابي نعم الذي سيواجه الأزرق الكويتي بإذن الله تعالى نعم ندخل هنا في مرحلة الإياب بعدما كانت هنالك مرحلة الذهاب نعم أيها السيدات والسادة في كل مكان هنا في مرحلة جديدة بموقعة جديدة بمحطة جديدة تأتي الصافرة السعودية معلنة الانطلاق نعم الهويش ومن يقود هذه المواجهة بالتالي أفغانستان والهند هنالك في الهند نعم أيها السيدات والسادة في كل مكان في ملعب إنديرا غاندي نعم أيها السيدات والسادة يبحث المنتخب الهندي عن مكانه أو على ثباته في المركز الثاني ونحن في طبيعة الحال إنسلت يعني نتمنى في هذه المجموعة بأن تكون البطاقات عربية بطبيعة الحال يعني نتمناها هنالك بالنسبة للعنابي أن يبقى أولا الكويتي يكون ثانيا وبالتالي الـ 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 العرب في هذه المجموعة أن يتأهلوا لكن هنا المنتخب الهندي في هذا اللقاء هو يبحث عن وصوله وعن آآ 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 تواجد الرسمي في بطولة كأس آسيا هذه كرة محاولة لكن هنالك الرأي ترفع وللمرة الثانية نعم يعني يبحث عن تواجد في بطولة كأس آسيا 2027 نعم أيها السيدات والسادة لا وجود إلى الرأي بلقطة الماضي على أي حال رفعت الراية وهو حتى كان استلام خاطئ باللقطة الماضية الحديث عن الطاقم التحكيمي في هذا اللقاء نعم أيها السيدات والسادة في كل مكان الكلام من هنالك عن تشكيلة المنتخب الهندي نعم سادتي الكرام في كل مكان المنتخب الهندي في هذا اللقاء والذي يبدأ على مستوى حراسة المرمى هنالك جور بيرت نعم طبعا المنتخب الهندي يلعب بالأربعة اثنين ثلاثة واحد هنالك بالرقم أربعة لدينا أنور علي اثنين راهول بيكي واحد وعشرين كظهير أيسر هو نيخل بوجاري وبالرقم ثلاثة نعم سوبا شيش بوس هو كلاعب ظهير أيمن أما لاعبي المنتصف جاكسون سينك بالرقم خمسة وأبويا نعم بالرقم تسعة عشر ومن أمامهم هنالك بالرقم عشرة براندون فرنانديز وعلى مستوى الطرف الأيمن ليستون كولاكو وعلى مستوى الجهة اليسرى هنالك مانفير سينك وقائد الخط الهجومي سونيل شيتري هذه كرة قريبة بهذا التوقيت هنا متابعة الأول قادم الأول قادم الله مرت ووصلت إلى ضربة مرمى بتهديد هندي باقتراب هندي بمحاولات هندية ولكنها لم تكتمل هذا سونيل شيتري قائد الهجوم بكرة كانت من الطرف الأيسر بعد ذلك راحت نعم من قبل مانفر سينج ووصلت إلى ضربة مرمى القائم الأيسر بالمرة الأولى وقف من هنالك بوجه سونيل جيتري نعم أيها السيدات والسادة في كل مكان الحديث عن تشكيلة المنتخب الأفغانستاني الذي هو في هذه المباراة على مستوى حراسة المرمى أوفيس عزيزي لكن هنالك طلعة هجومية واقتراب باللقطة الماضية وسحب للكرة نعم تزديد لكنها بعيدة أوفيس عزيزي على مستوى حراسة المرمى هارون فخر الدين بالرقم أربعة شريف محمد بالرقم واحد وعشرين محبوب حنفي بالرقم ثلاثة حبيب الله عسكر بالرقم ستة زلف النزاري بالرقم أربعة عشر 
رحمة أكبري بالرقم ثمانية مصور أحتي بالرقم سبعة توب إسكندري بالرقم 11 وأوميد بوبازاي أو بوبالزاي بوبالزاي عفوا نعم بوبالزاي بالرقم 11 جابر شرزا بالرقم 10 بالنسبة لفريق أفغانستان في هذا اللقاء نعم سادة الكرام كرة على مستوى خط الدفاع بهذه اللحظات الحديث عن الترتيب الحديث عن المجموعة طبعا المنتخب الهندي لعب بثلاثة مباريات فاز بواحدة وتعادل بواحدة وخسر بواحدة الأفغاني لم يذق طعم الفوز هو تعادل بواحدة وخسر باثنتين كرة من الطرف الأيسر محاولة قريبة بهذه اللحظات لمصلحة فريق ال 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 الهند هنا بنقلة إلى داخل البوكس التحضير وبعدها يأتي الإبعاد والتقدم لكن مرة أخرى إبعاد يأتي وإلى خارج أرضية الملعب بهذه اللحظات هنالك رمية تماس من الطرف الأيمن نعم أيها السيدات والسادة آه مباريات اليوم على مستوى التصفيات طبعا لعبة المباريات بأول مباراة كانت ما بين المنتخب اللبناني والأسترالي وكان سيناريو غير محبب حقيقة لنا خسارة المنتخب الأردني بخمسة أهداف لكن جاءت هنالك فرحة أخرى حقيقة لفلسطيني ولأهل فلسطين ولكل العرب بذلك الفوز القاتل الذي جاء بدقيقة 93 أو 94 نعم هذه كرة واصلة إلى الأمام وبعدها إلى خارج أرضية الملعب فاز المنتخب الفلسطيني بأقدام ميلاد ل يتقدم او انهى المباراه بهدف وحيد بعدها هنالك مباراه المنتخب العراقي والمنتخب الفلبيني التي انتهت بخمسه اهداف دون رد نعم بالنسبه للمنتخب العراقي وضمن من خلالها التاهل الرسمي الى بطوله كاس اسيا 2027 والتواجد في المرحله المقبله من التصفيات هنالك مباراه اخرى منطلقه اندونيسيا وفيتنام 2-0 لمصلحة المنتخب الإندونيسي سنغافورة والصين 1-1 واحد واحد بتلك المواجهة نعم كوريا الجنوبية يتقدمون الآن على تايلند كرة وبالرأس الله كانت قريبة ولكن صحوة حارس المرمى جوربرت ورأسية هارون فخر الدين راحت إلى خارج أرضية الملعب بإبعاد حارس المرمى ردت فعل جيدة من حارس المرمى ومحاولة ممتازة من المنتخب الضيف والحديث عن المنتخب الأفغانستاني في هذا اللقاء نعم سادتي الكرام كرة من الطرف الأيسر الآن لمصلحة المنتخب الأفغاني بحثا عن الوصول بحثا عن التسجيل وبحثا عن افتتاح النتيجة كرة ونقلة على 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 مستوى القائم القريب وبعد ذلك إلى خارج أرضية الملعب نعم سادة الكرام وصلت إلى خارج أرضية الملعب وبكرة مرة أخرى ثابتة لاحظ الركنيات ثلاثة لمصلحة أفغانستان بالكعب يا السلام يا السلام يا السلام كانت تحتاج لمتابعة من اللقطة الماضية ولا زالت المنتخب الأفغاني يضغط المنتخب الأفغاني يحاول المنتخب الأفغاني قد يسجل لما لا وصلت الآن وبهذه الكرة لكن حارس المرمى حارس المرمى في اللقطة الماضية نعم كانت قريبة نعم كانت قريبة نعم كرة من الطرف الأيسر طبعا النسب والتوقعات قبل هذه المباراة هذا الإبعاد يعني في هذه المواجهة دخلوا بنسبة 68% نسبة فوز المنتخب الهندي والمنتخب الأفغاني بنسبة 11% 21 اللي هي 
نسبة التعادل لكن ترى هنالك تهديد وترى هنالك تقدم من المنتخب الأفغاني المباراة الماضية انتهت بنتيجة التعادل نعم قبل أيام تزديد وإلى خارج أرضية الملعب انتهت بنتيجة سلبية صفر صفر ما بين المنتخبين هذه المحاولة وهذه الكرة التي تصل إلى ضربة مرمى نعم سادة الكرة إلى ضربة مرمى أتمنى السلام للجميع أتمنى بأن لا تكون هنالك إصابات بالغة أتمنى أن تسير الأمور على ما يرام سلامة لكل اللاعبين تصفيات بمرحلتها الثانية تقترب من النهاية كونك أنت الآن يعني تدخل بمرحلة الإياب متكونة من ثلاثة مباريات تلعب مباراة اليوم وبعد ستكون هنالك العودة إلى الجولة الخامسة بإذن الله تعالى والسادسة وسيكونان مع بعض الخامسة والسادسة بفارق أيام بتوقف آخر وبالتالي مع وصولنا أتوقع إلى شهر إلى إلى إلى, إلى الشهر السادس نعم إلى الشهر السادس ستكون الأمور و يعني منتهية بمرحلة بمرحلتها الثانية شباب السيادة زندوم والسكنة سريقة شبكة تلفزيوني أس جدل التي ما يعرفها نسون هند ملازمة كونيت مسابقة كده على القواتي هند ربع القزار مشابع فعلا بدون يقول مصابي حس اسبانسر هاي برنامج شركة الشامس كولا وعمشين إن شركة خدماتي انترنتي ميكروجيت حسن كهاميون مالية برنامج مشابع ما حس افغانستان هند از درشية تلفزيون السول و فرصتي كه چند دقیقه پیش انتی ها از دست دادن بازی کنید تیم هم به بازی بر میگرده اشتی به سود امشب دوباره به سرزمینی آمده همین مربی که سالها در فوتبال هندوستان مربی گری کرده یک بار دیگه این طرف حرکت مقید بر بازیکران هندوستان ضربه زده میشه و تو به قوتی جریمه هست هنوز فرصت داریم حالا تو به دایی بدین تو اومد پاپلزه بیروفل کارت بسکنداری Habibullah Askar, who's playing at right back. Nicely done by Subashish. Now the press works out for Afghanistan. That's confident play, composed play from the Indian boys, even with pressure coming on, just trying to create triangles, moving the ball across. And at the end, Afghanistan just winning a throw in. Gosti match telling the press that he's not putting a lot of pressure about the future on the team likes to soak up the pressure soak up responsibility but he needs a result and he needs it now and he needs it in this particular game getting a result tonight just gets the Indian team one foot into the next round of games coming in the World Cup qualification and every, all the boys, not just Igor Stimak, even the boys will have that in their, in their mind that the pressure might ease moving on to the next set of games for them if they can get a win against Afghanistan. We've not beaten them in five occasions. But a lot of tight games, Robin, and that's the problem. Not a solid, confident win for India. Yes, there's been a winless phase for both of them. 
but Afghanistan also managed to get something or almost get very close to a result every time there's a game against India. Oh, absolutely. And at the same time, if you look at the pre previous five results, even for Afghanistan, they've got wins against Mongolia. Manveer. Apuya. Try to cut it back. Wins the corner. Apuya moving forward, trying to take up, take some space and get that cross in. Gets blocked off by Zelfi Nazari on that occasion. But when you've got deliverers like Brandon Fernandez, even set pieces could be an idea for India to get a goal. And in modern day football, it's a very important part of any team to be ready to create set pieces of their own. Bit of a talking to from the referee. Mohammed Al Hoysh from Saudi Arabia. Lecture for Hanifi, who's marking Manveer. Brandon delivers towards Peke. It's wide. Took a deflection on the way. A deep set piece coming in. Raul Beke getting some space for himself. Gets a deflection on the way. Coming from Akpari, Rehmat, who's got A league experience of his own. But Beke will be happy. He got, got away from his man. He'll want to get away one more time. And maybe we can see a variation from the Indian team. Now, maybe there could be a set piece that they've had practice at training routines at the training ground. More happening. And players crossing the goal line. That's what the referee is trying to stop. Brandon once more. This time the keeper has gone up for it. Here's Jeekson. Nice push in the ball for Manveer. Little dink towards Subashish. Easy. Yeah, for us, easy. Subashish is getting some time and space in the box, but just could not get any power behind that. But there's a quick, quick counter attack coming. I try to reverse that. Wanted Tofis Kandari to continue his run. Kandari has been very attacking through that left side of the pitch. Popolze just wanted that run to be continued. A good ball through from Azizi, trying to make sure there's no time for India to come back, settle in into shape, trying to hit them on the counter. This team has just gone into his favorite squat position. Getting nut nutmegged in the process as well. He's gone into a think mode, trying to unearth a new idea where they can hurt this Afghanistan team. It's also about the expectations, Robin. And over the last few years, especially with the Indian Super League and how far we've come, players are now more well-known. They do things for their clubs that it's not always possible to do for the country. And he's spoken about this earlier, saying a lot of the boys that he prefers playing as strikers sometimes are played out of position when it comes to club football. And that's something that always bothers him to an extent and how they have to change and adapt to new positions coming onto the Indian team. But in professional football, especially modern day football, a lot of coaches want total footballers where if they have one position, they'll want one or two more in their locker, especially the likes of Brandon, who can play on the left for FC Goa, is now deployed down the middle as a number 10. And at the same time, Manveer, yes, he's made that right wing his own, but he wears a number 9. I know exactly where he should be playing. But this is more familiar. Manveer down the right, Liston down the left. You see that uh, from Mohan Bagan as well. Playing Morris, pure wingers rather than wing backs who can attack. Well, we can see every time the ball moves forward, if one of the wingers or one of the attackers that need to be chasing down is Manveer helping Sunil with Brandon just sitting in. Zoe Bamiri taking a risk, just getting away with it. Kandari. And again. 
trying to take on Nikhil Pujari. And Pujari does well. With Pujari's pace, you're not getting past him, and the desire that Pujari showed just to make that ball his, making sure that he cannot get past him. Just puts in a sliding tackle. Also made sure the ball doesn't go out for a corner because they've seen how dangerous Afghanistan team can be from those set pieces. Will be taken by Askar. Skandari. This time he has that yard over Nikhil Pujari. And into the box as well. It was cut back. And then sent out by Anwar Ali. And then it's over. Hanifi with the attempt. Afghanistan causing problems to this Indian defense one more time. And Skandari with his footwork. Just dribbles past Nikhil Pujari. It's physical as well. Just making sure that ball stays in. Gets a cut back. And then the final shot just gets a block off Anwar Ali who steps up very well on this last shot. Wavered from Mehboob Hanifi. And good feed from Mahadi. This is a good play from Afghanistan. They waited for the first 10 odd minutes and then suddenly have some more control now. Rehma Takbari plays it out wide. Here's a Hardy. He's looking for that reverse ball for Purple Zay. That's good work from the Indian team, making sure they're compact. Nothing gets through the middle. They'll deal with the crosses, with the height of Subashis, Raul Baik and Anwar Ali down the middle. Purple Zay. Baik had the ball and then Purple Zay quickly onto him. There's no lack of physicality from both these teams. Both teams putting, putting their bodies on the line, making sure they get something out of it. And Popol Zay just a little stronger to get the ball under his control, but just could not keep that shot on target. Slightly impatient. Raul Beke. Now Popelze has the ball. Ahadi one side and picked out. There's an interesting tactic being deployed from Ashley Westwood. Every time Afghanistan has the ball, Sharif Muhammad just becomes a centre midfielder. You can see the likes of Amiri playing the last man. But his counterpart, Sharif Muhammad, number 21 in the middle. That's the risk they need to take. And now India need to take one. Apuya. Here's Manveer. Was on the lookout for either Liston or Brandon. And found nobody. India trying to hit Afghanistan on the counter. He wants the team to be wide. But Apuya, when that ball's played through, you can see the number of bodies. He had the opportunity to just play that ball along the ground or even find Brandon at the other end but misses both Liston and Brandon out completely. It's almost as if two players with a tendency to peel away down the left, both getting caught in the middle. Brandon obviously does that, steps into the middle. Liston usually stays out wide. One for Dribbanali looks on. He'll be looking on, he'll be wanting to do better. Chetri. Not enough power on that pass. Liston was brought down. India have a free kick. India have a free kick in a very dangerous position. That'll give the opportunity for the likes of Rahul Beke, Anwar Ali and Subhachis to come in the box. But before that, Liston tried to get free. But just gets the stu foot stuck in alongside Akpari Rehmat, who gives away that free kick. Have to make most of the set pieces. Brandon on the pitch. He's got a special delivery on him. Here 
Uh, will it be flat or will it be a floater? Brandon Fernandez should be easily dealt with. Ahadi nicely between two blue shirts and uh, Brandon gets a yellow card for that. Brandon Fernandez knew Afghanistan were on the counter and the foul was the only thing that he could have done. But that's good work from Ahadi just to get through a few challenges and then Brandon pulling him down. But it all started from Brandon's delivery. That was not good enough, in my opinion. He has the ability. He should be whipping that in with more power for the likes of Subhashish Manveer or even Rahul Bekhi to get at the end of alongside Sunil Chetri in the box. Ahadi is causing problems, the 24-year-old. Lots of experience in Finland. Nikhil Pajari not happy with that decision. Nikhil Pajari getting sold with a touch from Sharza and giving away a foul. But this Afghanistani side, I said, I said this earlier, they will not back down from a challenge. They are a physical side. We saw that in the previous game and India right now are finding that difficult to deal with. It's a proper, proper Ashley Westwood side. Physically, they want to be there. They will run you down for 90 plus minutes if they can. Skandari. Well done by Manveer. Here's Jeekson. Subhashish. Almost a great ball, but Azizi saw it early. Great decision from the Afghan goalkeeper. That's very good awareness from Azizi to just make sure Sunil doesn't get anything on at that ball. If just that had a little bit more curve on it from Subhashish, Sunil Chetri would have gone through. But that's a good idea. That's good vision from Subhashish to just find Sunil Chetri on the counter. Very measured. Has been having an exceptional season for his club. Leading Mohan Bagan Super Giant. A physical presence in that defence for the club. And has that vision and confidence to just play that ball through. But we have to keep in mind there was a bit of rain and Guwahati. The ball just being a little more slipperier than usual on this ground. Cheeks in. Brandon. And Liston Kolasov. That's better from the Indian team. Just wanting to rotate that ball a little bit. Move the Afghanistani players in and around a little. Subhashish. And the cross is wanting. Subhashish just got a little too much of the ball on that cross. But that's good work again. From Liston Colasso, just finding Subhashish on the overlap. And Subhashish just could not wrap his foot around to find either Manveer or Sunil at the end of that cross. Couple of chances created in this game already. This is the first one for Manveer. Massive chance. One of the biggest chances of the game. Sunil Chetri turning the ball, just gets hits the post on his, his try. And then Manveer just getting it over. But Zoheb Amiri on the other end just gets a header for Gurpreet, equal to the task. Have to add more bodies into midfield as well. Igor's team match will have seen Ashley Westwood's tactic of bringing in Sharif Muhammad into the middle of the park. Popples it. Kandari Popple says cross Great communication from Gurpreet to the rest of his defence making sure he gathers that ball tries to release it and does so very well to find a Puya Rushed and went for the Hollywood pass there was options on both sides, Liston on the wing with Manveer to the right of him, trying to find that cute little ball, but just had too much power on that. And 
Jafar Sharza was interested in that. Good understanding between the two strikers for Afghanistan as well, between Popolza and Sharza just playing off each other, helping each other out. Just got confused once when Popolze let the ball roll and Sharza was not ready for it. And when Skandari cut the ball back for them. Very energetic strike pairing. And this time just slightly over Zealous. Over eager to win that ball back. Jigson with his footwork gets past the first challenge and Sharza just pushing him off using too much of his hands for the referee's liking. Manveer. Nikhil Pujari. Amiri's touch. Brandon regathers. Time cleared away with more distance on it. That's good closing down from the Indian team, just making sure they can win that ball back if they can under the five second rule. If not, just coming back into shape, letting Afghanistan have the ball in front of them, not hurting them while they're at it. But the cross is the idea, the tactical display from India to just put those balls in have to be better. They've lost out on a couple of occasions, although the ball hasn't been that great. Liston. Inviting a challenge. And inviting a foul and winning a free kick. Liston has pace to burn. He's got a lot of confidence to do exactly that. Pushes the ball out of the way. And Mehboob Hanifi just giving away that foul. And now even more dangerous for the Afghanistani team to deal with, with Brandon on the ball. For the first few 30 minutes from Liston, whenever he's been on the ball, he's looked confident, he's looked hungry to make sure he can get that jersey, be it for club and country, into that first 11. Zoe Bamiwi will get a talking to. Many a battle these two have fought. Brandon delivers. It was low and towards Chetri. He wanted more elevation on that. That's the second delivery from Brandon and he has to do a lot better with the ability that he possesses. He's supposed to be causing, or he'd like to cause a lot more dangers inside that box. Just a sheer amount of time. It's probably one of those things when defenders try to disrupt the things inside the box. And the set-piece taker is just waiting and waiting for 30, 45 seconds. It's taking just too much time on the ball, overthinking it and then getting it completely wrong. But at the same time, it also gives you... A 45 to 30 seconds to get your breath back, to compose yourself, be focused at the task ahead. Fair point. Here's Jigson. Manveer. Wanted a give and go with the Puya. Brandon looking for Chetri. Sunil Chetri trying to win that header or trying to go for that header between two Afghanistani defenders and Azizi coming from the back. But Brandon on the ball just trying to find that run over Amiri. But Azizi present, aware of that long ball that could be played and ready to cut that out on every occasion if it, if it need be. Dubashish, robust.
One of the reasons why Subhashish is brought into this first 11 is to add that bit of physicality that we know Afghanistani players brought in the first game. And that's exactly the one of Amiri coming from behind Sunil, not giving him any time to get that ball under control. Just to cancel that out from the Afghanistani side, Subhashish is in the starting 11 today with his experience, with his ability, alongside that physicality that he brings. Almost a wonderful exchange between Liston and Jackson. Ahadi. Silbush is just enough on that. India also need to find another plan B. They've tried to put the ball in. And Shiri Muhammad and Amiri have dealt with it alongside their wing backs. If not that, India need to be playing that ball a lot quicker through the middle. Manveer. But Chetri was there. They're asking for a handball. It's a penalty. Yellow card for Zohib Amiri. And India have a chance to score. When we're whipping that ball in into a dangerous area with space in front of him and a dangerous ball whipped in, Amiri completely using his hands. A penalty on any given Sunday. And referee absolutely right to give that yellow card as well. Nowhere near the ball, Amiri uses his hand and gives away a penalty. Sunil Chetri has the ball. It has been seven games since he scored his longest goalless run for India in 14 years scored in his first in his 25th scored in his 50th in his 75th Scored in his hundredth. Scored in his one twenty fifth. appearance in 94th goal two decades of this man scoring goals for the national team adds another goal adds that bit of composure in front of goal for the Indian team and tonight puts the Indian team in front of a goal needed very very much so and now he'll want that composure back one more time the pressure is off the confidence will build and now they will search for control Guwahati sees another Sunil Chetri goal for the Blue Tigers. And this time Subhashish, did he overstretch? Yellow card out for the number three. Subhashish earns his name into the referee's book with a sliding tackle, which is a little late on Popol's eye. But this is the composure that Sunil Chetri will want from his side now. Igor Stimak will want that composure from his side now because you're most vulnerable to concede when you've just scored. And this is a very important goal for the Indian team. Almost had them for 40 minutes. Ashley Westwood. Fine margins. Always define this fixture. Long, long way to go for the final whistle.
half-time talk will completely change for Igor Simak if it stays this way for the Indian team. But this man, 94th goal for country. Two decades of him playing in the national team jersey. Two decades of him scoring for the Indian team. Scoring under different national team coaches. Bringing his experience under every coach that he's played. And leading for the front, from the front to his side. Brandon on the ball. Earning his side. A free kick. And now Afghanistan will have to step out. Now Ashley Westwood will need to step out. Because his team talk will have to change. As you said, almost had them. Oh, almost had the ball, Sunil Chetri. He just floated over Amiri and he did not expect it. Amiri missing that ball completely. Sunil Chetri was ready. The foot was out, but there was a slight bit of touch coming from Amiri. A little unlucky Sunil Chetri on that occasion. Ahadi tries to curl it in. Good idea. Has the confidence to curl that ball in. Has the ability to curl that ball in Ahadi, but just couldn't keep it on target. Jixen just getting injured. And winning that header, but the curling effort. Had the curl, had the intent, but just didn't dip enough to trouble Gurpreet in goal. A plan was in place from Afghanistan and there is credit to them and coming to India with all the difficulties behind them in the way they've prepared. India always favourites though. Home territory in front of a packed crowd. One of the most settled in football calendar football season Sunil's parents present in the crowd as well watching him play his 150th appearance today and he's gifted them with a goal on his 150th appearance Sunil's absolutely started the party in Guwahati and he'll want to continue that till the end of 90 minutes Brandon Heke. 42 minutes on the clock. I'm sure the idea from Igor Simak will be to control the tempo of the game right now. Take this lead into half time. See this half out for the next three minutes plus added on time. But a one goal lead is never enough, especially against an Ashley Westwood side who's, who, as the game goes on, will throw everything at this team. Kandari? Oh, he caught late. Raul Baker says no. The referee says yellow card. It was Sharza who he fouled. Sharza with a good touch again to just get away from defenders. This time it was Raul Baker playing that ball off to Popul Zai and Raul Baker just with a stamp, earning his name into the referee's book. This is where India have to be careful now. Raul Baker on a yellow, Subashish on a yellow. Brandon as well on a yellow. They don't want to be competing against this Afghanistani side with a man less. Probably a thought in Igor Stimak's head at the end of the half. Apuya was tracking his man. Brandon has looked up. Liston can run. But he can't control it. That's a good ball from Brandon. Liston had space, but just the touch was wrong. Good vision from Brandon. But he could have opened his body to the left. Decided to go on his stronger foot to his right. But the Afghanistani defenders just staying alongside him, making sure he does not get that touch. Oscar with the last touch to take it away from Liston. Could have opened his body towards the left. Had space, had time. Get into the box and make it difficult for defenders to then tackle. Has not scored for the senior side, Liston Kolasa. Yeah. 
Brandon letting the ball skip away from him he's got to be careful Brandon just needs to be a little more calmer the ball getting away from him he needs to be aware that he's already on a yellow he needs to see this half out and let Igor Stimak decides decide what he wants to do Hadi header was easy for Gurpreet that's good work that's composed work from Gurpreet just to gather that ball slow it down but Shars are winning that header trying to flick it onwards towards Gurpreet's goal we just didn't have enough direction to beat Gurpreet ready just straight back into the hands of Gurpreet Excellent outlet, Liston Colasso and India have used him time and again. They have tried to find him with that long ball. As the game goes on, they also have Changde and Vikram present on the bench if both Manveer and Liston Colasso run out of steam on any occasion. There could also be Mahesh who can come in for the likes of Brandon and play that number 10 role. He's got that composure, that touch to just turn in small spaces. Brandon being on a yellow could be a thought for Igor Stimak. Now Mahesh Nauram has been playing at number 10 for his club. A couple of fixtures there. Liston. Uh, touch takes it away from him. Here's Brandon. Trying to look up, measure something, play safe. Seemed like he wanted to find Manbir on that long ball, but just didn't have any time and space from the Afghanistani teams, team players. Jackson. Lubashish with a foul as well. He's also on a yellow card. Subashish pulls out of the challenge but still gives away that free kick. Ashley Westwood from the sidelines. Not happy. He wants that second card. Ahadi just moving that ball out of the way and just clattering himself into Subashish. Referee also having a word with Ashley Westwood, just asking him to just simmer down a little, if not calm down. Ahadi's ball. A flag went up. Very busy. Yeah, Brandon Fernandez heavily involved. Playing at number 10, but also peeling away to the left side. Half-time whistle is gone. Sunil Chetri with a goal on his 150th appearance for India. Manveer with a missed chance very early on. And Zohib Amiri also with a header, but he gave away the penalty from which Sunil Chetri scored. Afghanistan have been solid at times, adventurous at times, but India have held firm and they have control with a 1-0 lead in Guwahati. At half time, India with a narrow lead. Second half coming up soon. روز از نگاه تو آغاز می شود. نگاه کن رنگ ها برای تو می درخشد این دریچه
Afghanistan still difficult to break down from open play. India need another goal to be comfortable. And Chetri with a handball in the opening play. Manveer moving forward, winning that ball. And Sunil Chetri just using a little bit of his hand to get that ball under his control. That's a good start from the Indian team, making sure the ball goes forward early. And Manveer does very well to win that header, guiding it towards Sunil Chetri. Had a few chances of their own, Afghanistan, especially down the wings, entering India's box with ease initially. It is in these areas that they're doing well. Skandari's attempt, and blocked by Nikhil Pujari, and set up for Akbari. Yeah, they get a corner, Afghanistan. Into an action from both teams. India with the first attack, Afghanistan with the second. The first shot comes in from Skandari, gets blocked. And at the end, Akpari with a shot gets a block from Jeekson. And a set piece again. India will have to remember the Afghanistan team is dangerous on them, especially with the blocks coming in for Amiri to get free. Sent in by Ahadi. It's again that near post. Brandon wants to find Liston. A pass needed more. And a couple of changes were being readied by India, but. Still no sign on when they might come on. But you can see the Indian team wants that bit of control, wants to control the tempo now, making sure when the ball is pushed forward, it's, it's in a short pass. It's a pass that finds one of their own teammates. Getting the Afghanistan team out of their own house, finding that space for the pace of Liston and Manbi down both wings and the pace of Sunil behind that ball that can go go over the center backs Afghanistan have scored just the one goal in this particular qualifying campaign in this group in that 8-1 defeat against Qatar now Qatar of course stable toppers taking on Kuwait later in the day half past midnight uh, that particular game India will have eyes on that, but for now they will have one to keep their eyes on this fixture. That one goal lead is never enough. Manveer and Azizi. It seems that the referee thought that he got enough of the ball and he did eventually, but did he initially? Brandon with a better ball over the top. Manveer almost getting at the end of that. But the keeper stood his ground, just pulled away at the end of it and there was just a collision that the referee thought was the reason behind letting the play go on. He is having a talking to with the goalkeeper, making sure that the next time, if the occasion or the idea occurs, could be a, could lead to another penalty. But that's a good run from Manveer, and that's a better ball from Brandon. Stuck in two minds. Ovesa is easy. Little push on the back of Nikhil Pujari yeah, by Jabbar Sharza. India team seem to be a little less under pressure after scoring that goal. Seem to be coming into the rhythm of their own things. We all remember that run that India went on, their unbeaten run for a number of games under Igor's team match himself. Chetri looking for that first time pass for Manveer. Sharif Mohammed in his way. Blocking that ball that could reach Manveer. Manveer as well will keep running down that channel with his effort, his work rate. His impeccable beard for club and country. Now Igor Stimac has the ability to bring in the likes of Vikram Pratap. Apuya. With that pass for Nikhil Pujari. Jigsen playing that ball to Apuya. Apuya with a little flick on. You see Nikhil Pujari do this with Chante. Apuya just trying to recreate that with Nikhil Pujari himself. Loves operating in that right channel now, Apuya. And being deployed there as well for his club this season. And if he wants it to be retaken. 
what do they do now? Do they do it again? Or they change the set piece? They change the set piece. Something similar. Brandon with a poor left footed ball in. And Warali was offside. Change of set piece, but the ball from Brandon has to be better. Whips in it, whips it in with his left foot. There wasn't much on it. And then Anwar Ali just straying into an offside position at the end of that. Sharza stopped by Jackson. Listen, Colasso. As Afghanistan chasing him, Liston. Nikhil Bajari doing well to just read that little touch coming from Skandari. That's that's a good little battle that we've seen on the wing. Skandari versus Nikhil Bujari get both trying to get the better of each other on occasions, and Nikhil Bujari winning the last two. Especially in this half. Skandari did cause him a few problems in the first 45. I'm sure Igor Stimas must have spoken to him and said one of the ways you can stop Skandari from causing issues is just close him down, don't let him turn on you. Skandari, as soon as he turns, he, he can go both ways, which is causing Nikhil Pujari issues. Jackson. Manveer uh, trying to turn Skandari. Trying to be a little clever, Manveer. He had the option of just playing that ball back to Nikhil Pujari or holding that ball up for him. Gives away a free kick. Akbari. For a Hadi. Try to send it in towards Sharza. Once again, too easy to get down the wings for Afghanistan. So she is a little too tucked in, giving that bit of space to Ahadi to run into the box. Had the ability or had the opportunity to take a shot, Ahadi, but wanted to just play that ball across the box, trying to find one of his teammates. Finds an Indian shirt instead. Yes, Kandari. Sharza. Skandari once more. Having a very good game. Uh, the number 11 for Afghanistan. Uh, plays for a club called B36 Torshavan. As Akbari takes a shot. And that club, of course, in the Faroe Islands, 11 time Faroe Island champions. Here's that move again. This time, Zoeb Amiri tries to go up, but Rehmat Akbari takes a shot, goes wide. Muskandari trying to get through the middle of players, wanting the free kick in the middle, but gets none of it. Anali Antwala Changte and Mahesh now are both warming up. More pace for the national team to burn with Changte. Will come on either side for Liston or Manveer. And Mahesh can be deployed in that number 10 role because Brandon does have a yellow card to his name. Really good pass from Jackson and Liston almost taking charge in the box. Space in front of him, a good touch to take it away. But both these boys, Hanifi and Liston Colasso, battling it out with each other. And Hanifi at the end just gets a toe poke for the ball to go out for a corner. But now, eh? It gives the ability for again Raul Beke, Anwar Ali, Subashish to get into that box. Brandon sends it in. Falls for Liston Colasso, went for a special. Has the ability to hit that ball like a knuckleball, but again, just gets too much on it. Afghanistan winning the first header. Liston with time and space takes a touch. Trying to get that knuckleball to just come down, but just goes wayward. 
couldn't get her to come down in time. Excellent game down the left for Liston. And Sharif Muhammad. Bopalze. Fouled. Apuya this time. Bopalze and Shars are playing as two strikers for the Afghanistan team and causing troubles every time they're on the ball alongside Skandari. Another tough, challenging game. Apuya and Jigson, very clean so far. Apuya looks a lot more comfortable as well when the ball moves forward with Jigson playing that deeper role as a defensive midfielder. Puya seems to be in control of that midfield, bring that link-up play between himself and Brandon when needed and trying to find the likes of Jigsen and Manveer alongside Sunil up front. Sharza takes. Completely wasted. Sharza takes, Sharza misses. Trying to hit that ball, trying to just trouble Gurpreet, but just gets it from the outside of his foot. Ashley Westwood would not be happy with that. He's seen what his team can do when the blocks are in place and the ball gets whipped in for the likes of Sharif and Amiri. You'll want more of that. Really good response, though, from Afghanistan. After the break, seemed to have regrouped. India have had a few opportunities. Well, nothing clear cut. Puya stays down. Puya goes up for the header. And gets a bit of a knee to the side of his ribs. Or a kick, if you want to call it, from Mehboob Hanifi. Looks like he's a lot of pain at the moment. A spot of bother for Igor's team match at the moment. He seems to have been split open as well. A little bit of skin. Now worrying in case he has to come off Apuya because that particular area can be very sensitive to impact. I talk about the impact. That the Guwahati crowd has made. Guwahati fans making themselves heard, being loud and proud behind the men in blue. The Blue Tigers will be happy with the support they've got. And all the dignitaries in attendance will also be happy with India being in the lead, I am Vijayan being one of them. But he, we all know that one goal leads are never enough. He will also want another goal for this Indian team side to be there, be sure. Referee did take a look at the damage caused to Apuya. But he still sent him away to get some treatment. Nothing given for that attempted winning of the ball. And Chankte is ready. Skandari. Almost, almost kept in by Ahadi. Good crossfield ball coming from the Afghani team again. Ahadi at the end of that one. But the ball again, because of the dew and the rain, just skimming past, skipping on the grass, and just could not control that ball on that occasion, Ahadi. Can he ask for more from his team? He'll want fresh energy to come in because whatever he's wanted from his side in terms of intent, desire, hunger, they've shown all of that but the end product has been missing. The likes of Skandari and Ahadi have been good every time they've gone into attack but the end product from the likes of Popul, Populze and Sharza have been missing. Really not happy with that decision, Sunil Chetri. Is that a clean win? Seems like a clean win. To me, Strikers Union. Definitely Sunil not happy with that. As a striker, that's a fair tackle. I'll go up and win that ball every time like that. 
some might call it bread and butter for me. Nazari. Sharza. Skandari. Oh. Akbari with that attempted back heel. Quick little give and go was the idea between Akbari and Skandari. But again, the dew playing its own factor. And Skandari slipping at the end of that. But India need to be careful. 60 minutes on the clock, changes will begin to come in for both teams. And India need to lock doors if they want to keep this 1 0 lead in their favour. The bibs on again for Changte. Jackets off, bibs on. It's only time before we see Changte and now Mahesh also. Both of them will want to come in soon. We'd like to be a part of this squad and get that second goal, get that breathing space for the national team, for Igor's team, Max team. It's become a bit stop and start for India especially. Both players fighting for the ball. Oscar and Manbir, a little battle on that wing as well. Manbir. Once again involved, and this time with Zelfi Nazari. Opoya just giving away that foul and just getting tangled between himself and Zelfi Nazari. At the end of it, just at the end of it, just moving away from that tackle, and the referee as well, just asking for both players to keep their composure a little bit. Ends with a smile from Opoya. Dari again. Pujari gets it away. In steps Amiri. Now Jeekson has it. Trinh Chetri fighting for that ball. The ball being clear from this Afghani team. I think it's important for the Indian team to just control the bit of tempo for off this game, probably get Afghanistan out of their own half, bring them onto themselves. Popples there. Popples there with time to shoot. Popples there with a shot, but just could not get it on target. But that's good play again between Sharza and Popples there, the two strikers for this Afghani team. Gurpreet not happy with the closing down either, the shot going wide. But this Afghani team is building things. India need to cancel it out completely, close people down, probably make some changes need, need be from Igor's team matches team. Guwahati has enjoyed it so far, but more spark required. The team has to respond to the atmosphere. Nearing the 65th minute's completion. Afghanistan will be the first team to make a change. Farid Sadat will be coming on. Is Manveer. Trying to find Sunil Chetri or Brandon on that occasion. Manveer missing out both of them. That's good closing down from Nikhil Pujari one more time, giving no space at all to Skundari to turn. Change is being readied. And Popples A will be the player making way. Has a lot of experience, the number 19. On comes Farid Sadat. G. 
peaks and Brandon fouled. Ramat Akpari giving away that foul on Brandon. But now we can see India want Afghanistan to come out of their own half, wanting to find that space for Liston, Manveer and Sunil behind. But these missed passes can cause issues because India have pressed on high. And Afghan, Afghanistan has pace to trouble this Indian team. Skandari. Akbari. Looks like India's change is ready. Sunil Chetri will be coming off for Changte first. Papa for Brandon Fernandez. That's what we are hearing. And Mahesh Naurim for Liston Colasso. Three of the front four will be changed. Meanwhile, Nikhil Pujari. Nikhil Pujari just losing that ball out, trying to win a throw in from the opposition. I almost caught the ball. <laughs> Wonder what that was all about. Instinct, maybe. Probably lost the ball in the lights. There's no other explanation to that handball. The 68 minutes on his 150th game for India, 94th goal scored. Your proud parents watching on. Sunil Chetri working hard for the 68 minutes that he's been on and the fans appreciating the effort that he's put in alongside the goal that he scored on his 150th appearance in front of these fans in Guwahati, in front of his parents in Guwahati. What do you make of the changes? With Changte coming on, I can surely see Manveer playing that number nine role up front with Changte being on the wing and Mahesh like for like listing on the left Mahesh will take his position as is so the only tactical chain that could be an idea would be Changte going place of Manveer and Anirudh Thapa just sitting in there for Brandon so it'll be like for like apart from Changte and Manveer and probably will want that bit of figure of Manveer to hold the ball up Changte was offside but now here's an example of what Thapa can do if he plays further forward in that final third and that's where he flourishes the most. He's just come on and played that ball forward. And Chante just barely being offside. Andrew Taba does play a more defensive role in his club. But his, he flourishes when it comes down to playing a number 10. Ahadi. Good work from Anwar Ali. Oh, it's deflected in. Akbari sent a shot and it's through a crowd and Afghanistan always difficult always fighting back and with 20 minutes on the clock it is one all Afghanistan finding space behind that Indian team defense Anwar Ali trying everything possible bodies in the way and the ball finally just ricochets gets deflections and ends at the back of the Indian team net. Goes through the legs of Rahul Beke. Afghanistan huffed, they puffed, and they finally broke the deadlock. You can see that goal, India. Now, the game is on. This is where India will need that goal. They have the fresh legs, especially up front. 
the front four to an extent is new they will have the energy they do need the goal just the sheer timing of that equalizer yeah, the occasion as well for both these sides and immediately after the goal scorer was pulled off India need to respond and they must act and they must act quickly and with precision India will not be happy with with the draw today for sure especially at home Shankar sends it in and here's Anwar Ali excellent clearance from Zohib Amiri Anwar Ali winning it back Jeekson too much on it for Changte Afghanistan escaped Mahesh Foul given against Cheekson. Cheekson just giving away that foul, but in my opinion, that wasn't a foul. Therefore, Nazari just colliding with Cheekson and the referee blowing the whistle for a foul. Afghanistan did try to take it quick. The referee pulling it back. But Raul Beke, the last touch, comes off him in the goal opportunity. A couple of shots, everything gets blocked, and the last one just goes through the legs of Rahul Beke, the shot coming in from Rehmat Akpari. But there's still time on the clock. Afghanistan will probably be happy with the draw, but India will want the next one. Yeah, whistle went just before Farid Sadat tried to chip Gurpreet. Chetri is not on the pitch. India are chasing a game. Even at the beginning of that attack, the defence looked a bit unsettled when that ball got played over. They looked out of position. Manveer Singh trying to get at the end of that ball. Anirudh Thapa wants a foul. Just right before that ball played through, there was a slide that came into him. Changte could have been an option, but he just had the little slip before that ball could be played through to him. But you're absolutely right. This is what Anirudh Thapa can do when he's been played into a number 10 position. Has the ability to just put that ball through the eye of the needle. Find his teammates. Find that ball with the right amount of pace. Askar is in trouble. Ego steam match. A little bit of trouble being felt now with 15 minutes left to play. He'll want a result tonight. He did mention some strong words. If he could not get the result. He's had his fair share of losses. He's had, his, he's had a very good run of games being unbeaten through the process. But this result will be very important. It does keep them in second position in the group. But they'll want that, want that win. Sadat. Skandari shifting it out wide. Subhashish, clever to keep his feet. Ah. 
Askar. Skandari. In a pocket of space. And he tested Gurpreet. He saw that ball late, but does well to get a palm to it and a strong hand to it. Another warning. Skandari causing problems to the Indian team again. Cuts in this time, goes past Jeeks and gets a shot. Gurpreet saw it late, but does very well to get a strong hand to it. The shot had power, it was going towards the goal. But Gurpreet with a very strong hand, opens his body up, stretches himself. And gets a good save for himself as well. CR Sadat is coming on for Habibullah Askar. Like for like change, he will go in at left back. He can also play in midfield as a number two. And his first clearance is half hit. Now Changte. Abuya. Swings it in towards Manvir. Beautiful ball for Ahadi. He's on his left foot now. Tucks it in for Sharza, who's unable to control that. And India, very nervous when Afghanistan attack. Raul Beke just clearing his lines, just aware of that touch. A little lucky that touch, the final touch got away. But Farid saw that he's come on, he's looked dangerous. Did try to turn. And Shars at the end of that just could not control that ball, open his body up to take that shot off. Shankar just trying to pump up the rest of the team. The complaint will be that India had the lead, but they did not have the control of this game. We always spoke of the same that the 1 0 scoreline is never enough. It's a very dangerous scoreline. And this is exactly why a couple of shots coming from the Afghani team and the final one coming from Rema Takpari going through bodies and getting the equalizer. But it brings you back to the same shot or, or the chance that Manveer had. How important was that? It's also about controlling the game at 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil can be a good score. It can be three points, but you have to keep that lead. You have to control the pace and the tempo of the game. you got to be compact. you got to be aware and communicative also to know where your teammate is, know where your man is, your teammate's man is, and block all of that out. That whole attack began with the Indian team defense being a little unstable, especially on the right side with Subhashish. That's where the attack came through and the final shot coming from Rema Takpari to get the equalizer. Nazari sends it forward. Farid plays it back. Moved on quickly for Thapa. Mahesh picks it up. And out Chante. Chante wanted to take the defenders on, but two of them came together to just stop his pace. So that the new new man in, playing as a wing back, pushing Chante back towards their own goal and finally giving away a throw in. Oh, 
into the last 10 minutes then very similar situation in that game in Kolkata as well Asian Cup qualifiers all goals coming very late Sunil Chetri scoring in the 86th then the equaliser came from Zohib Amiri and the winner in added time from Sahal Abdul Samad who continues to be injured Mahesh cut back for Thapa Thapa again but Sharif Muhammad in the way they're all lining up until Apuya just scooped it back into no man's land India trying to release a few shots of their own bodies being put on the line from this Afghanistan team and finally the ball just going towards the goal kick Chankhe with that shot blocked Sharif Muhammad with that kick before Anirul Thaba could get at it that was going towards goal that's good defending from the Afghanistani team and Sharif Muhammad just clearing that ball before it could reach Anirul Thaba and that's the first time that India have applied collective pressure on Afghanistan in the box and on the edge of the box all began with a back heel from Anirul Thapa and could have just ended with a goal from Anirul Thapa but Mahesh doing very well to send his defender both ways left and right before putting that cut back in Thapa Shante Nikhil Pujari for Manveer big leap and the header off target that's good work Nikhil Pujari with the dangerous ball in Changte keeping that ball in play first and then Nikhil with a dangerous delivery Manveer does very well to get in front of Zoeb Islam Amiri to get that header gets the power but just could not keep it on target that's good work the intent is there the attacking intent is there they have to keep pushing now to get the winner they've been in this situation you can see Nikhil Pujari saying the same thing we just need that one opportunity they're looking for that they can smell it they have to take advantage of that if you need another attacker there's Vikram Pratap who's also on the bench you can put him on with the season he's been having I'm sure he'll be hungry to get another goal Something has to change for this team. There needs to be an influx of energy be it an attacking fullback or an out and out attacker India will want to win this game today Vikram Pratap is ready to come on yeah, that's what you saw when Mahesh Gauli just spoke to Igor Stimach five minutes ago and asked for confirmation on that change and he just nodded his head and Cheekson will be coming off so he's throwing everything now. That's a very good change. Apuya can play that role. And now Vikram. I think it could go into with two strikers being up front. And Apuya just sitting in that hole with Anirul Thapa. Anirul Thapa still being, still being the man that can control the game from the middle, the attacking midfielder. But the signs were clear. Vikram Pratap coming on and saying exactly that two strikers coming on two strikers will play together we will go for the win Mahesh Tapa finds the gap and finds Subashish and now Apuya
tries to take a shot with his weaker foot. Subhashish was present on the left. He's put the first cross in. So that deals with that. But as soon as he's gone past the first man, Subhashish on the left could have been played through. Just to whip that ball again. Do what you're good at. Do what is right. Do the simple things right. Mahesh Vikram Pratap is offside Vikram Pratap coming on with his energy just straying offside a little from this angle it looks onside referee gets that one wrong we have the ability to see a replay, but the referee, I'm sure, saw something else and saw Vikram Pratav offside. Oh, Gurpreet has given away a penalty! And this could go from bad to worse for India. Into the book. And with very little time on the clock. This is how it happened. Farid Sadat takes a touch away from Gurpreet. Gurpreet tried to get out of the way, but momentum just taking him through and just giving away a penalty. With three minutes left, this could cause problems for the Indian team. They will want to get at least a draw if Afghanistan score from this penalty. Incredible moment in this group in this game Afghanistan can go above Kuwait with a win and they can force India to win everything that's left in it Sharif Muhammad Played for Mazia, Churchill Brothers, and Gokulam, all known teams in the Indian football circuit. Sharif Muhammad puts it in, and Afghanistan with an unlikely lead in Guwahati. India trail with minutes left. Sharif Muhammad knows the country. He's played here for a while and now he finally puts Afghanistan in the front. Ashley Westwood came here with the intent of getting three points. And he's on the verge of doing exactly that. Causing a lot of sadness to these fans. They came here to see the Indian team win. But at the moment, they are looking at a loss. Because this smiling assassin has given Afghanistan the lead in the 87th minute. Sends Gurpreet the wrong way and puts it in the bottom corner, giving Afghanistan the lead. 2-1 Afghanistan, the game's on. Now India will throw everything at it. The little fans that have come here for supporting their country will go back with smiles. Tapa. The slight touch, it will be a corner for India. More pressure, more expectation, more weight on the shoulders of each and every player in blue on the pitch right now. Afghanistan were expected to wilt. You can never, ever predict a result in this sport. Five minutes have been added on.
Prime Minister have been added on and now India team will try to throw everything at this Afghanistani team. Shankar. Papa has given it away. And he's given away a free kick in a quest to win the ball back. Anirudh Thapa just chasing down Skandari, who's been dangerous throughout the game. He had the opportunity to cross that ball. Manveer was in the box present. Anirudh Thapa tried to dribble and loses that ball. What a coup this would be, this could be for Ashley Westwood. The return of a former winner in India. Zelfi Nazari. Papa with the steal. Foul on Manbir. Akbari into the book. Mahesh wants that ball. Aziz, he's just taking that ball away as far as he can from the situation, giving Afghanistan some time to settle in, also run some seconds off the clock. Hanifi into the book, pardon me, not Akbari. Papa delivers, it has pace. Azizi was fouled. That's a lot more dangerous delivery getting whipped in, but Azizi, brave to come out for that ball between bodies. At the height. For Manveer and Anwar Ali to try go meeting it, Anwar Ali on that occasion and Azizi clattering with Amiri, just injuring himself a little. With the keepers, just in case they're required. Some leaving, some staying back. That unerring belief, the hope that kills fans so often. Some of them still staying in with a hope that this result can be turned into at least a draw with three minutes left on the clock. Mehboob Hanifi is booked early on the challenge with Manveer Singh. It would be a first win for Afghanistan since October 2023 when they defeated Mongolia in the qualifying round first leg. They defeated Mongolia home and away. And they did that on the back of that 8-1 defeat to Qatar and a 4-0 defeat to Kuwait. That happened immediately after those wins. The group did not start very well for them. They've suffered. They've struggled. They'll be happy with their result tonight, especially after the results that they've faced. Speaking to Ashley Westwood earlier, he did say there's a lot of positives to take and the result is round the corner. The corner's been reached. And now they'll want to keep that result just the way it is. Get a win against India after five games. Ahmed coming on for Sharza. Not long left. Probably a couple of minutes will be added on for the treatment that Oves is easy needed in goal. And 
Afghanistan defending deep now defending compact with just Farid Sadat playing that number nine role up front Vikram Pratap into the book it seems like he went up with an elbow trying to just get momentum to win that header giving away a foul in the meantime Mahbub Hanifi getting the end of that arm on that foul he's got a big leap on him Vikram Pratap just does win the header but it's a very tricky situation on as a striker or as an attacking player when you do jump rarely will you see anyone jumping with their arms just close to them their arm does lead it's the intent off the arm that according to me comes into question they've done ever so well since taking that lead control this game keep the ball slow it down not allow India the time the space the opportunity no risks being taken from Afghanistan and trying to control the tempo sending that ball as far away from their goal as possible India need to step up in these dying moments need to put the ball forward find the likes of Manveer and Vikram Pratap everyone will be sent forward Gurpreet will take this he's just been turned away and it's going to be Thapa it's in the box and instantly out the attack needs to be controlled the ball that gets whipped in on the second occasion has to be controlled Mahesh Anwar Ali Manveer Singh and Chante for Vikram Pratap in comes the cross. It's been cleared away. Amiri putting his body on the line, making sure that India do not score. Vikram Pratap whips that ball in low and hard and goes away for a corner. And they've changed the decision. They have changed the decision. and turned it into a goal kick that was never a goal kick Amiri had the, all of that ball to be cleared out at but this puts pressure on Igor's team match now what does he do what an incredible result for Afghanistan and one simply has to be fair to this country for this achievement because so many times this sport is the only thing that keeps them going meanwhile for India a massive disappointment giving away a one goal lead and allowing Afghanistan to fight back and win they never surrendered did they and Sunil Chetri and his expression says it all. National, the Indian team just could not get total control of the game. Sunil got the opener, but Afghanistan just kept coming at them. The fans going back with a smile on their faces for Afghanistan. And Ashley Westwood will be very proud of his boys. They kept working for 90 plus minutes. And today, they've registered a win under their name as well. 
they will celebrate. But imagine the celebrations back home. This is how much it means to them. Amazing work from Ashley Westwood. And doesn't even have his full squad. Doesn't even have all the...